Good evening. We're back with another episode of the Lord of the Rings LCG Progression Series. Playing solo as always, and tonight's quest is a storm on Cobus Haven. So another sailing quest. So for the setup we need the fleet, which is the Dream Chaser and the Naralenya. And we need a Corsair deck, which we can find here. And I have to choose one of these objectives. I'm starting with a scouting ship and a raider. The objective I'm going to choose is the beacon, which allows me to take control of these warships if I have enough resources. So I'll grab the beacon, and it needs to be guarded, but I'll do that after I get my hand. I'm looking for Ether Swordsman, preferably with the opening mulligan. I don't find it, but I do have Heat the Dream. Gaining Strength, Steward of Gondor, so it's pretty good. Uh, and then I need this objective to be guarded, so it's guarded by taking on water, which is going to attach to the Dream Chaser, uh, which is inconvenient. But this is unguarded, so that's good. And then, let's get started. Draw one, and then one, two, three. Still no Ether Swordsman. I'll play Steward of Gondor. Uh, Heed the Dream. Looking for Ether Swordsman. Nope. Well, which one do I want? Hunter of Lamadon or On Philosopher's Herdsman or another Heed the Dream? No, not another, not another Heed the Dream. Probably On Philosopher's Herdsman. Maybe Faramir. Let's see, if I grabbed Faramir and used both of those, I could play everything. So yeah, let's grab Faramir. Shuffle. Then I can play Gaining Strength times 2 for 2 extra. Then I can play Faramir for 4. Errand Rider. And Knight of the Swan. Then I can play a very good tail. With those two, to discard 5. 1, 2, Three, four, five. Okay, well, it's going to be Knight of the Swan number two and Hunter of Lamadon. So, no Ether Swordsman. Let's go ahead and do a sailing check. Two damage due to the taking on water. One, two, three. So, we do stay on course. And we'll go ahead and quest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When revealed, each player reveals the top card of the Corsair deck and puts it into play, engage with them. That's terrible. Discard a random card from your hand and place resources on it equal to that card's cost. Three resources. So that's a pretty bad start with no Ether Swords, but I don't think I'm going to win this. I'm going to reset. That'll be a loss. Three Stewards of Gondor? No, thank you. One is better. Alright, and it's guarded by Fog. Okay, that's everything. Try, try again. So I can play Steward of Gondor. Wealth of Gondor for one. Gaining Strength for one. And what else do I want to do here? Faramir and two Knights of the Swan, I think. One, two, three, four. 
Knight of the Swan, Knight of the Swan. Good harvest and name leadership and play Errand Rider. And then I can play a very good tail with Faramir and Errand Rider. Discard five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess it's the Onphalos Herdsman and Four Long. Alright. So let's do the sailing check for three. One, two, three. We do stay on course. And I'll go ahead and quest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna take threat. Well, that will happen this turn, but after this I should be okay. So two threat. Need the compass here. All right, and I move to fog bank. On to the next round. Gaining strength. Envoy of Pillar Gear. For one, two, add one. And let's try again with very good tail. For one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I want the warrior and the Ether Swordsman, so we're getting set up. Getting set up. Let's go ahead and do the sailing check for one, two, three, four. And we do stay on course. And I'm gonna quest for, how much do I wanna quest for? As much as I can, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And the card is location, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine progress. The location is now. Free. I can't move there, I have to exhaust a ship to do that. So we're just on to the next round. Draw one, two, three. I'm gonna play Captain's Wealth here. I'm gonna play Ether Swordsman number two. Play Hunter of Lamadon. Not a Outlands. And I'll go ahead and use the planning action of the beacon to spend five resources and claim a, take control of a Dol Amroth warship, which has four willpower while I'm on course. That's insurance against an objective getting claimed by a ship, which will happen. Let's do a sailing check. One, two, three, four. We do stay on course. And we're on to questing. So I need six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, most likely. Let's see, be four, eight, twelve. 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. Card is Siege Ship. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 10 progress. So we do advance to stage 2. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a ship and add it to staging if there. Okay. For each unguarded objective in the staging area, attach a non unique ship enemy. Okay. So grab a. 
I'd like one of these scouting ships. Is there another one? Definitely not a light cruiser. Is there one in the discard pile? There it is. Okay. So scouting ship and I will attach a scouting ship to the objective. Better than the siege ship doing it. Alright, so I need to free the objective again. I'm going to have to kill this siege ship. So I'll go ahead and move to this location, which means I have to exhaust a ship. And I'll engage the siege ship. It has archery 2. Yeah. And then an attack for five. No damage. So I can attack back for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's four damage. And we're on to the next round. One, two, three. So I'll play Heat the Dream. Uh, anything there I want? Sure, I'll take on Philosopher's Herdsman. I don't think I'm going to use the secondary function of Heat the Dream because I want to claim the other warship. So I'll play that for one. Well, will I? One, two. I'll only have four left. Well, actually, Aralenia reduces the cost of the first ally by one, so I can do that. I forgot about that for previous rounds. I would have more resources. Play that for two, and then I'll claim the ship for five. Let's do the sailing check for one, two, three, four. We do stay on course. Now, questing. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's go 4, 8, 12, 16. It's a Corsair Skirmisher. Okay. So I do make three progress, which clears the objective, or the uh, location. Now I'm going to engage this scouting ship. Which has boarding one. So our first pirate boarding of the day. Corsair Raider. When he engages, move one resource from a hero's resource pool to raid leader. Well, I don't have any. So, let's do the attacks. Oh, the skirmisher is going to engage as well. Well, maybe I better not engage the scouting ship this turn. Can I? Got a lot of dudes here. Yeah, let's take on all of them. Well... No, nah, I better not. Let's take it slow. Do that guy. He has porting one. So nothing else changes. Let's do the attacks. For five against Naralenya. It's a dud, so no damage. For four against the warship. Attacking enemy is a raider. It's not, so it's no damage. And for five against... Four long. It's dead, so three shields is two damage. Alrighty, my turn now. Let's go. Hmm. Which one first? I can take control of the skirmisher. Let's 
take out the C ship that requires five, six, seven, eight damage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight will do it. I owe two archery damage from that, which I can put anywhere really. Or one, two. Okay, rip seed ship. Now I need 10 for that one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the, after it's destroyed as an enemy, the engaged player may discard allies with a total of at least three willpower. So I could discard one Hunter of Lamadon and that would do it. I will do that since it's plus two willpower right now. I'll discard that and take control of this skirmisher. So it has willpower of three. And that will be the end of that round. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, should have discarded four long. Play gaining strength. Whoops, for plus one. Do I have any outlands in my discard pile? Yeah, I've got a Hunter of Lamadon there now. Two of them. So if I play Men of the West for two, I could then play everything. Yeah, no problem. Play Men of the West for two. One, two. First ally that enters play is at reduced cost. So one for that one. I'm gonna decline his ability. It's a response, so two for that one. Don't think there's a point to very good tail. I do have another warrior in the deck, another other swordsman, another knight of the swan. But Don't think I need to do that. Well, let's do it. Three, four, five. Very good tail. One, let's discard. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's pretty terrible. But it's all right, because four long will ready at the beginning of the quest phase, so it really only costs me an exhaust of an envoy of Pelar gear. Let's do the sailing check of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Do stay on course. Questing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen. Let's go for four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so five progress. I will travel there. I choose a ship enemy that's not guarding an objective, and while this islet is active, the chosen enemy is considered out of play. I'll engage this enemy. He is boarding one. Corsair Infiltrator. And I got some attacks to resolve. Raid Leader attacks for five. Put that on here, Lewin. It's five to three shields, it's two damage. And we've got an attack for five here. No damage. And an attack for three here. Put that on a Hunter of Lamadon. No damage. Okay, my turn to deal damage. Let's go one, two, three, well, four, eight, twelve. To 
kill the scouting ship, which frees the objective once again. And now I can deal with these enemies. One, two, three. He should ready up. Four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, looking good. On to the next round. It's not back in play until this location is cleared. One, two, three. Okay, there's some missing cards. Play Captain's Wealth. Play Envoy of Pillar Gear. Actually, it should cost one less. Warrior of Losternock and Knight of the Swan. So, my setup's pretty good now. Only missing a Nether Swordsman. Let's do the sailing check for one, two, three, four. Do you stay on course. And we're going to go ahead and quest for, let's see, 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24 or so. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. To 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 19 progress. 14 more. That will clear the location, which brings this enemy back active. And that will clear this phase of the quest. Player makes engagement checks against each enemy in the staging area. No problem. 35, 35. Raider flagship gets minus 50 during these engagement checks, so in it comes. We'll go ahead and move to, oh, it's got boarding one. Okay, and I'll go ahead and move to Cobus Haven. Break through the fleet has five quest points for each ship in play. If the stage is defeated or a Raider flagship is in the victory display, the players have broken through the Corsair fleet and win the game. And it seems likely, Let's see, 5, 10, 15, so it's 20 points, no problem. Got some attacks to resolve. Go for five against the ship. If your heading is at the worst setting, it's not. No damage. And two against the Hunter of Lamadon. No damage. So the ships can attack back for four, eight, twelve. It's nine damage. So I could beat this quest by killing the enemy. But I'll just quest by it next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Unfortunately, only ship objectives can be declared as attackers against the flagship. So, on to the next round. 1, 2, 3. Ether Swordsman number three. Hunter of Lamadon number three. Okay, so uh, I could easily just kill this. How much progress do I need? 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, probably 32. So it's what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 34, 38, 2, 7. Wait, how did he get in the encounter deck? Don't those start in the Corsair deck? I'm 
confused. Well, anyway, I'm going to take a look and I'll shuffle after because I'm curious if this something's gone wrong somewhere. My guess is that's not supposed to be there. Let me check on that. So this is a Corsair card, right? I'm not sure why it's in the encounter deck, but I don't think it's supposed to be there. This isn't going to benefit me, but let's see. We'll put this over here for now. The card would be Coast of Onphalos, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 34, 38, 31 progress. With either card, the result is identical. And if I'd chosen not to complete the quest, what I also could have done is, let's see, even if it was the raid leader, I mean, it wouldn't engage, it would just sit there. And then we got an attack for five, that's a dud. And I can attack back for well, first I would do a sailing check. I forgot the sailing check. So let's back up. We have a sailing check for four as always. One, two, three, four. I mean, any way you slice it, the sailing check passes. But I think this is supposed to be out of place. It'd be four. And then an encounter card, which is Coast of Onphalos again. Okay, well, any way you look at it, it's enough questing progress to clear. The sailing check wouldn't have mattered anyway. Don't need to be on course. But if I hadn't done that, I would have an attack, which was a dud. And then... 4, 8, 12, so 9, nine damage. Could have killed it that way. So, yeah. A little bit confusing at the end with this card being in the encounter deck. I didn't expect that, but it doesn't matter anyway. There's no encounter card or combination of cards that could have impacted the win. Being off course wouldn't have impacted the win. At this point, it was a win. Anyway, you slice it. But I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be in the uh, encounter deck. So that confused me. Forgetting the sailing check. I would have just been off course, which wouldn't have mattered. I might have forgotten a boarding card at the end of the encounter phase, though. From last turn? Or did that engage? No, that engaged after the encounter phase, so never mind. Yep, anyway, that's a victory. And uh, thanks for watching.